desert scorpions are practically blind, but their bodies are covered in a battery of detectors. Soft hairs detect the faintest wafts of air, and all eight feet have vibration detectors. For these to work, it must stay still. Like the sand swimmer, to move is to go blind. Desert insects also have to feed. Foraging at night avoids daytime birds, but it's still a risky business. Simply by walking, the insect is signalling its arrival. Sand grains beneath each footstep betray its location. The insect is like the epicentre of a moving earthquake. As it moves, each leg produces waves of invisible seismic ripples, acting like a barcode to those who can read them. First, there is a shock wave, then a rolling tide of information that travels up to 20 centimetres. Each wave reaches the scorpion's legs at different times. There's only a microsecond between them, but it's enough to work out where they're coming from. It turns to face the waves for better reception. but someone else is already receiving the transmission. Now the insect and the signal have stopped. Both snake and scorpion must wait for service to be resumed. Any movement by the insect could prove fatal. The scorpion only needs to feel one more step. It's a bad time to have an itchy leg. The scorpion rushes in, but its charge is cut short. In a twist of fate, the scorpion's own footsteps have led to its capture. Even a sting in the tail cannot save it. A lucky break for the insect. 